Hello everyone, this is Dave May from DCM Bioservices. Today we're going to go over how to change the barrels on an Agilent Velocity 11 multi-channel head. As always, if you don't feel comfortable performing any of these steps, please feel free to reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com and we'll be happy to assist you. So there's two main types of heads. You have the 96 channel head and the 384 head. There's two versions of the 96 head you want to be aware of. The LT, which is a large volume tip, has a bigger barrel, and then a ST, which are on the 384s, which is a smaller volume tip. So everything here is what you're going to need to change the barrel and the O-ring on the head. You have the four tools you're going to need. You're going to need a 1.5 millimeter hex, two millimeter hex, a 1 8 inch socket head screwdriver, and a three millimeter hex tool. These are the two versions of the tips I was talking about. You have the larger volume and the smaller volume. You have the two different types of O-rings. You have the larger volume O-ring and the smaller volume O-ring. Over here, you have a mixture of grease for the O-rings. It's a certain mixture. If you need that mixture, we can send it to you. Just reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com and we can send you the, the mixture procedure. So it is just a combination of the Molly Coat 55 O-ring grease and the TriFlow Superior Lubricant. Together it makes a nice loose lubricant. All right, to start we're going to need to take the stripper plate off. So turn your head up. Using the 1.5 millimeter hex, you're going to need to go right to loosen it and left to tighten it. So it's kind of in reverse of what you're usually doing. So just unscrew the six screws holding the stripper plate down. Once they're all loosened, kind of gently pull up the stripper plate, put this down. And now we have access to the tip. Using the 1 8 inch socket head, we will unscrew the barrel. Just keep unscrewing until it comes up. It should slide right out. Now we're going to need access to pull the O-ring off. So now we're going to have to take this plate off using the 2.5. The reason why we take this off, we're going to need access to the lead screw there, and it uses the three millimeter hex tool. Stick that in, and I'll kind of turn it so you can see. We're going to need to bottom this out, so just screw clockwise all the way down until it bottoms out. So once it bottoms out, Go in the opposite direction, counterclockwise, all the way up. Now we can see the piston coming out with the O-ring on the end. Just let it go all the way out. Put the head back up. You can actually pull the O-ring off. I would just throw that away. And we would go get a new O-ring. Put it in your grease mixture. Just lightly coat it. So the nice coating on the, each side of the O-ring. A little extra won't hurt. So we grab the new barrel, set the O-ring on top. The grease should hold it there. And then put the O-ring in the barrel down so it goes over the piston to make sure the O-ring is on. Push the barrel all the way down until it bottoms out. And we're going to grab the 1 8 inch socket head and screw this in until you feel it stop and give it about an eighth of a, to a quarter inch turn just to kind of seat everything together. We're going to want to go back and back the pistons off just maybe 10 turns, 5 to 10 turns. The reason why we do this, we want to put the stripper plate back on. 
So we'll grab the stripper plate. It's very important you put this back on. If you happen to load tips on here, you have no way to get them off. You have to pull them off individually. Put the stripper plate on. Grab the 1.5 millimeter tool and go in the reverse direction to tighten. Just go until it's nice and tight. If you have issues where it doesn't grab, just kind of push down on the edge until it grabs. Sometimes there's a little resistance. All right, nice and tight. And now we want to go back and put this plate back on using the two millimeter. Really can go on either way. Just let the screws up. Once you got everything back together, you can put, then put it on your Bravo or your V-Prep. And make sure when you do put it on, you initialize the system just to exercise it. Uh, and you can order anything here that I've showed you today. Just go to service at DCM Bio and request the barrels, O-rings, grease mixtures. Um, you can, actually, we can, you can order the tools from us as well. And that's pretty much it. The same, same way to do it on the 384 head as you do it on the 96. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments. Check out our other videos on automation how-tos and visit our website at dcmbio.com for other service options. If you need help, please email us at service at dcmbio.com. The links will be below for our website, our email, and our LinkedIn.